Fresno City Council members are demanding answers tonight. Nearly a week after the Central California SPCA banned dozens of local rescue groups from saving animals set to die at its shelter. KMPH news reporter Ashley Ritchie is the only reporter investigating this story since the very beginning and has the helpless victims being caught in the middle. This is Malaya. Katie Applin with the Animal Compassion Team was walking through the SBCA last Sunday when she saw her. And she was hiding and cowering in the corner because she was pretty scared and I have a soft spot for the scared ones. So we went in there and picked her up and she went and cuddled right up into me and was just being super sweet. Katie told the staff there she wanted to rescue Malaya, but because her rescue hadn't signed the SBCA's contract, she was told no. I was upset and heartbroken for her because I know as a scared dog, she stands very little chance of making it out of that shelter alive. Katie and a friend went back to the SPCA Wednesday to check on her. We walked over to rescue and um, Alan asked them what happened to this dog. And they looked it up and they said it was euthanized. She was denied, declined by rescue, I believe was the words they used. But she wasn't denied by all of the rescues and even though someone wanted her, Malaya was killed. It's stories like hers that are catching the attention of City Hall and now council members are demanding answers. This is a very serious issue. At Thursday's council meeting, Council President Clint However, Olivier used, used excerpts from previous stories I've done to address growing frustrations with the SPCA. I believe it was the board president of the CCSPCA when asked by a reporter, um, you know, are, aren't you concerned about the the tax, the, the fact that you received 2.3 uh, tax, uh, million taxpayer dollars uh, from the city and another million dollars from the county of Fresno? Um, his response was, who cares? But the money comes from taxpayers, who right? Who cares? It's a contract. This is um, an example of hubris. This is an example of a, a, a real closed door mentality. Uh, and, and it's something that concerns me very deeply. Olivier asked the city manager to look into options other than the SPCA providing services. Other council members voiced their concerns about the SPCA closing their meetings to the public. They'll revisit the issue next week, and it may be too late for Malaya, but the lives of other dogs and cats could be at stake. Reporting in Fresno, Ashley Ritchie, KMPH News. Next week, the issue regarding the SPCA will be on the city council's agenda, and council members will discuss the status of the SPCA's contract with the city. KMPH News did try contacting the SPCA, but no one returned our calls and emails. And as we mentioned, KMPH News reporter Ashley Ritchie broke the story a couple weeks ago. That was when the SPCA issued a contract to all rescues that pull animals from its shelter. The contract placed about a dozen regulations on the rescues, which rescue workers say would make it nearly impossible for them to pull animals at all. Many local rescues got together and revised the contract and delivered their versions to SPCA officials, but have yet to hear anything back, they say, and have not been able to save animals from that shelter since last Friday. The SPCA board members tell KMPH News the contract is strictly business. So far, more than 20 of about 30 local rescues have not signed the contract.